All right, guys, another one from geometry. So please do give it a try and then you can resume to look at the solution. All right, guys, suppose the length of each side of a regular hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F is two centimeters. If T is the midpoint of C, D, then the length of A, T in centimeters is. So uh, let's solve this question, guys. I'll tell you two ways of solving this. First is uh, you can consider the triangle ADC here, ADC. And since uh, T is a midpoint of CD, TD will be equal to TC. So the whole idea is we're going to find the length of AD, AC, and uh, TD also, which is very, very easily one unit. Same as TC, which is one unit. And then we are going to apply the Apollonius principle to get the answer. So uh, observing that the side of the regular hexagon is two units. Okay. What you can do is you can drop a perpendicular here from B on AD. Okay. So by symmetry of the figure, this angle is 90. This angle will be 60 degrees. Each interior angle of a regular hexagon is 120. So half of that is 60. That means this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay. So this side, let's call it as uh, AG will be equal to one unit. Right. Or you can also use trigonometry sine 30 will be one by two. So this is two, this AG will be one by the same logic, guys, we can calculate the length of DH exact same logic will be one. Now observe that GBCH is a rectangle GBCH. This box here is a rectangle. So opposite sides will be equal. If this is two, this length also is two units. Okay. That means I got the entire length of ADS one plus two plus one. That is four units. Okay. So far so good. Now observing triangle ABC. Okay. In triangle ABC, AB is equal to BC. Okay. This entire angle is 120 degrees. Okay. If it's an isosceles triangle, obviously the remaining two angles are equal 30 degrees and 30 degrees each. Okay. Now we can apply the funda or the concept of the 30, 30, 120 triangle. The ratio of sides is one is two, one is two root three. Okay. Or you can drop a perpendicular from B. Okay. And calculate half of this length AX. Okay. AC will be twice of AX. Okay. So either ways you can calculate the length of AC as two root three. Okay. Splitting it as root three or root three in 3690 or using 30, 30, 120, it is two root three. Now it's very, very simple. We have found the length of all the sides that we need it. Okay. And now we just need to apply the Apollonius principle. Okay. AD square plus AC square is twice of AT square plus twice of DT square, right? AD square is basically four square 16 plus AC square is two root three square is equal to twice of AT square plus two into DT square is two into one square. That's two only. Okay. So 16 plus this will be uh, four into three, 12, 28, 28 is twice of AT square plus two. So we have 26 is twice of AT square or AT square is equal to 13. AT is equal to square root of 13. Okay. And that's your answer option two. Okay. Now that's a very complicated way to answer the question, guys. There is uh, of course a much easier way out. Let's see how we solve this. So we only consider the length AC here in this case. Okay. Uh, since T is the midpoint of CD, CT is definitely equal to one unit. Okay. Now uh, we saw that this angle is 120 degrees from the previous logic and uh, AB and BC are the equal sides. So angle BAC is same as angle BCA, which basically it's an isosceles uh, triangle. So if AB and BC are two units, AC will be two root three. Now directly we can observe the interior angles of any regular hexagon. They are 120 degrees. So if uh, the entire angle here is 120 from that, if BCA is 30 degrees, what about the angle ACD? ACD will be a right angle, right? Now you can use the Pythagoras theorem. AT square will be equal to AC square plus CT square. So AT square will be two root three square plus one square. That's 12 plus one 13. So AT is nothing but root of 13. Again, that's the second option. And that's a much more convenient, a much more easier way to solve the same question. The answer is option two root of 13.